Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys the kind of super, super, super uh, early leveling setup that you can do for pretty much any Ascendancy Righteous Fire. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Dula since this is the next character that I'm leveling, Champion RF. And I kind of want to just highlight some of the items I have to show you guys what you need to get Righteous Fire running. Now, in a league start scenario, this is not really realistic unless you are juggling life flasks. But since we're like, you know, a month into the league, a lot of players can afford some leveling uniques and stuff like that. So, wow, these load times. Whew. Okay, so uh, right off the bat, I'm just going to go over and cover everything. The skill tree is not a big deal when uh, trying to do this. Naturally, you know, any region you can get while doing it is better, but you can just brute force it with pure gear. So the only thing I have helping me right now would be Master of the Arena for a 1% regen, which is not much when you only have 582 HP. Uh, I've got Warrior's Blood, same thing, 1.8%. And then I've got three max fire res. You don't need any of that. You could literally have nothing invested. So currently this character has 145 life regen per second. And I wanna break down where that life regen comes from. So if I turn on Righteous Fire right now, you'll notice I'm totally fine. Like, I, I can go run, I can kill mobs. Now, granted, it's not really ideal to run RF this early, because, I mean, I literally only have, like, uh, what is it? I can't read this. This is efficacy, and then we have uh, Life Tap. Sorry, my microphone is blocking stuff. So all you really have is Life Tap and efficacy this early, and then you get LE Focus at level 18. You can get Conch Effect, but nobody wants to run Conch Effect for clearing. So... Uh, let's get started with what you need. So, uh, one of the other things is if you want to just wait a tiny bit longer, uh, if you wait to level 20, you get Kikizuru rings, and Kikizuru gives you another one life per second. So at 20, that would be an extra 40 life per second. So just look at my regen and add another 40, which is pretty big. Actually, it's more than that, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So, uh, I have a pair of synthesized life regen gloves. Naturally, you don't need synthesized life regen gloves. You just want life regen gloves. 15.7 uh, life regen is pretty solid. One of the bigger points in uh, in life regen would actually be my belt. So um, I went and looked for jewels. So uh, abyssal jewels that have the lowest level requirement with the highest life regen. So these don't even have a level requirement. So this is like a 10.1 life per second with a 10.7 life per second. If I take them off, you'll notice my regen goes to 73, right? Now we're all of a sudden degening. Um, furthermore, I have a replica at Zeri's Foible, which is also Catalyst. The Catalyst is completely overkill. I use this for my Inquisitor, uh, which is the reason that I have this. But a base replica at Zeri's Foible is huge. Um, and remember that anointing also does not cost uh, or does not have a level requirement. So if you want to be extra safe, you could anoint something like, say, Hardy, which gives you increased life regen, which is a multiplier to all of your regeneration, along with an actual 1.8% regeneration roll. Um, and that pretty much, with the exception of my spring leaf, covers all of my life regen. Uh, and that's really it. Now, there's a lot of other things I could tell you, but I'm not trying to make this overly complex. I'm just trying to give you some really simple values. Now, remember that since majority of my life regen is flat regeneration, you actually do not want to look for a bunch of life on your gear, meaning leveling uniques are great because the tires don't give any life, tabula doesn't give life, gold rim doesn't give life, the boots don't give life, my belt doesn't give life, and you're not actually going to like die when you're leveling because you're going to have an abundance of regeneration, you can scale armor because you're on left side of the tree. If you're right side, you can do something else. But just having a lower life pool does not really necessarily mean you're going to die. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really pretty much about it. I'll just go through and walk through some more content for a minute or two. And then I'm going to go uh, pop up the live stream. What aura turned off, by the way? Oh, I had skitter bots on. Get her, bots.
Actually, what is my res? Oh, so I just need lightning res. It's actually not bad at all. I can just switch the glove one here to lightning res. First level up, nice. I think we're going towards arsonist, probably. Um, so this life tap is in my chest piece, right? I don't actually know. Oh, whoops. That's okay. I'll just get another level 1 life tap. Won't be a problem. Fiddleitis, where art thou? Where are you hiding, sir? Not lab. That's not what we want to do. I can't do this just yet. All right. That's pretty much going to conclude that. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope this helped you guys out with some, you know, just very early template stuff. It's all very basic. Nothing complex here. So anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. I'm going to go level the champion righteous fire. So if you guys like the video, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day, but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.